Hey guys, uh, okay, so in the last video we talked about using uh, Snap Auto Poster to syndicate your content. Now it's very important <clears throat> that you create these accounts for every one of your websites and because you have to remember when you start a niche site, like right now we're on one of my niche sites, it's, um, it's about brewing beer um, um, called Beer Critiques. So when, whenever you have a niche site like this, you have to think of it as a web property and that web property um, within it contains a, your network okay um, so you have your niche site okay then you have your web 2.0 properties for that niche site then you have all of your social profiles and social bookmarking accounts so you have a a network um, built around your niche site and it's very important that you do that now um, the, the only the only thing bad about that is you have to go create the accounts which takes time of course but what and what we're going to talk about today is a program that I use to do all of our all of my uh, web 2.0 posting and and account creation it's a great program and it will help drive it drives traffic to your niche sites and creates a great um, a great network uh, content network around your niche site so let's go ahead and take a look at that and how to use it we're actually going to use this use the program um, we're going to create a campaign and I'm going to show you how that all works. Okay, here we are in my dashboard of FCF Networker. Most of you are there. There's going to be some of you that have heard about this um, from me, and then I'm sure you've heard about it from other places as well. Um, they don't uh, promote this uh, very much because they don't have to. It's it's, just a, it's a great program um, that professional uh, niche site builders, bloggers use. Um, to expand and um, um, help with their marketing, their marketing, uh, all of their marketing. So we're going to go over and take a look at it. Um, we're going to create a campaign and actually post some content. Now, one of the good things about this is it will actually create your accounts for you, and that is usually done with a desktop software. That's the way it's been done for a while. But the good news is now is they actually have a new uh, account creator, a web-based account account creator, so you don't have to use a desktop software. And um, so you, it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a PC, you can use this account creator um, that's built into the application, the web-based application. So it creates all your accounts for you. That's one of the good things um, about this uh, program. So let's talk about some of the other, um, the supporting, um, some of the supporting things that you need when using a program like this now. Um, when you're talking about uh, spinners and things like that, um, you can use those things. And I use Spin Rewriter. Um, some of my uh, uh, marketing, as far as posting content to Web 2.0 properties, I do use um, Spin Rewriter to rewrite content that I post. Um, so let's talk about spinners. Um, they have a bunch of spinning services that you can use. Um, again, I use Spin Rewriter. Okay, now it is not mandatory that you have a spin rewriter or other spinning um, account, and I'll show you why. Um, it, it is optional. Now, a good thing about this program is you don't have to use proxies. Okay, it has its own built-in proxies. Let's talk about some of the API. Now, you can use a third-party indexing service. Um, the good thing about this is it actually um, has a built-in indexer, so this is not mandatory or not required. Okay, um, the only uh, API uh, service that I use is Article Builder. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, setting up a campaign for my niche site. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at creating accounts. So the first thing we need to do is create our accounts, our web properties around um, our niche site. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So under Account Creator, we're going to go ahead and, and add project. The one thing that we do need is a capture service, okay? And this is very, very inexpensive. So you can get a you can get a bunch of captcha uh, credits for very, very little money, just a few dollars. Um, now, since this is the first time that I'm using the web-based account creator, I need to go in and set these settings. So I'm going to do that. Now, with the web-based account creator. They're going to want us to use uh, two captcha, and the and the reason for this is so that um, with Google's new captcha um, solving uh, settings, um, two captcha is one of the only services that work on Google's new captchas. So um, that's why they want us to use that. 
Um, normally we can use uh, death by caption and things like that, um, but uh, they want to use two captures, so we're going to do that. So this is what your two captcha account um, looks like, your dashboard, and um, you'll get an API key that you will put in the FCF, FCS networker uh, program. And again, it's very, very inexpensive. Um, this, this is very worthwhile um, to do, so um, very inexpensive. And as soon as I do this, I'm going to come back and we will go ahead with the account creation. Okay, uh, so once you get your CAPTCHA setting in, it only takes a few minutes to purchase your CAPTCHAs and then you're ready to go. Um, like for this example, I put in $15, I think, um, and that'll last for a, a, a long time. So first thing we need to do is give this a project name, and I'm going to name it with my niche site name, so we'll uh, call it Beer Critics. Okay, now you have an option of creating an email. It will automatically generate an email for you. You can put in a new email that you create yourself, which is very easy to do, um, or you can um, use a saved email. Like if you have a bunch of emails already created, you could put them in the saved email list. So we'll go ahead and let um, it automatically generate an email. Now, here's this information, profile information down here. Um, we can let it automatically generate a username for us, a password, a blog title, and a blog description if we want. If we let it do that, what it does is it puts in a bunch of different blog titles and in spin tax form, meaning when it creates every new blog that it creates, it's going to use a different title. Now what I'm going to do is for this first set of accounts that are going to be surrounding my site, this first uh, network, I'm going to go ahead and create my own or use my own title and, and description. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put in my own blog title and own blog description. And it's going to be okay that these are going to be the same blog titles and blog descriptions as for my uh, first tier of uh, Web 2.0s and social properties. Okay, we'll leave this set to 1. Okay, next is schedule, and we'll just leave this to the way it is. Network import. Now, what this means is after it creates the accounts for us, it wants to know where to assign those accounts, and that means uh, a blog network or a social network, okay? And we're going to create a new blog network. So we're going to choose new network, and we're going to put the name in here. Okay. Now when it creates the accounts, it's going to create blogs and it's also going to create social accounts. So blog, web 2.0 accounts, and social accounts. So we're going to create a new social network as well. Okay, and we'll call it uh, Beer Critique Social and for the blog network, Beer Critiques Blog. Okay, next is site selection. And you'll see that um, it has some sites that block auto-generated uh, emails, okay? So this is something we may look into next time creating our own email, um, but it's going to let you know which ones um, are blocked. And what we can do is after we run this account creation, we can come back through with a different um, email address and create the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and click Select All, okay? These are all the accounts that we will create. The good thing about this is we only cre FCS only creates accounts on high authority sites. Okay, um, so if you take a look at the sites that it creates uh, accounts for, these are all um, um, very popular in high authority uh, Web 2.0s and social networks. Even it even creates accounts that we can plug in into our social network auto poster on our niche site. Okay. So once we've done this, we can click Save Project, and you can see that it's now um, put in our capture balance. Okay, so that is our account creation. Okay, so we'll stop this video here, and then we'll pick back up after the accounts have been created, and we'll go ahead and create our campaign.